Hi there, I'm Caitlin Hossum, and we are here at Bradford Woods in Martinsville, Indiana, talking about goat grazing. So I've always loved goats, and I used to work at a dairy, a small dairy operation, and that's kind of where my love for goats really um, was born, and uh, decided I, I wanted them to be part of my life. So a couple years ago, I got goats of my own, and um, started thinking, what, what can I do with these goats? So I have received a SARE grant to um, explore goat grazing as a tool to remove or reduce invasive plants. And that's kind of what we're out here doing today. So we're here at Bradford Woods and we have a fenced in acre and a third. And we are trying to answer a few questions. First, what will the goats eat? Second, how well do they eat it or what's the impact that grazing has on these plants? So tracking changes uh, over time, what's the short term and the long term benefit or impact? And also, what is the best goat to land ratio when um, doing something like this? And the second part of the grant is kind of telling folks that goat grazing is an option to remove or reduce your invasive plant problem, and also helping those folks who might be interested in doing this as a business. The project calls for 10 goats to be out here on an acre and a third, and I realize that that's kind of too big of a space for 10 goats, so we're experimenting with what size paddock is the perfect, perfect size for 10 goats, um, saying how quickly they can clear it, and by clear I mean, you know, five, six feet and down. That's what a goat can reach. Um, so how quickly they can clear it in a reasonable amount of time, thinking if you were going to be doing this as a business, you want to clear something as fast as you can. So um, yeah, the idea is that all the vegetation about five, six feet and down will be gone. Um, and it, it would be but we want to make sure that we do it uh, in, a, in an efficient way. So that's kind of part of the experiment here. 